Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm back with my Pandos eyeshadows update. This update is an interesting one. I don't have a lot of pans, but it's still interesting. I really am enjoying all the colors that I have in here. And also, I really like how my nail paint turned out. I mean, when I applied it, <laughs> it didn't dry properly and now it has smudged. But thank you, Dora, for suggesting me to wear this sheer sort of blue nail paint over a white base. It really turned out pretty well initially, if I had enough patience to let it dry properly anyway we will start with the update but before that if you are new here please consider subscribing to my channel my name is Rafneet and i make a lot of panning videos now let's start with our very first eyeshadow which comes from my odin's eye angelica collaboration palette i think we had this eyeshadow since the introduction of this project this year and i finally have panned on this one so we were working on this eyeshadow called venom and since last update i used it five more times in order to hit the pan and this is how it's looking like today we hit huge pan on this eyeshadow i'm so happy we have four pans on this palette now and i will insert the total number of uses on screen because i don't have them in front of me right now but I'm really happy with the uses we have on this eyeshadow. So this crumbled last to last month a little bit. So I pushed it back into the pan and then it was very loose. So I used it as nail paint. But I've only done that once and all of the other uses I have on this one is from using it on the eyes. It's a very bright, fun green shade. It is very, very reflective and it has gold specks in it. I would say it has green and gold particles but it's pretty and all of the next eyeshadows we rolled in last month and the first one is from my Norvina palette we rolled in this eyeshadow called soul from this palette and ever since rolling it in i have used it five times this is quite an unexpected shade i was expecting it to be a little bit more vibrant and sort of periwinkle but it was more gray on me probably because i have warm undertones i mean i have neutral to warm undertones i don't have crazy warm golden undertones i can get away with using neutral leaning products but yeah i was very surprised so in the swatch it looks really pretty but on the eyes it pulls more gray like grayish purple and also it's a bit darker i still like it but it's not what i was expecting it to be yeah, it's a nice surprise though. But yeah, this is what it is looking like after five uses. We have some dip, very little. So yeah, it's gonna stay here for a while. I will keep working on it until we hit pan because it's not very, very hard pressed. It's relatively, or I'd rather say quite powdery, but it's just sort of tricky to reach for. And that's our next eyeshadow and staying on the purple realm the other purple eyeshadow we roll in is from this my glam palette it's very opposite of what i feel about soul it doesn't have a name but it's a purple shade very light purple and ever since rolling it into this project this year i used it eight times this is also something we rolled in last month and this is how it's looking like today we have huge dip going on in here and I think probably I'll be able to hit pan on this one in next 10 to 15 uses. This is what it looks like. And these eyeshadow pans are deep. It only has one grams of product in each pan. But since the pans are tiny, they are more deeper. And this is what this eyeshadow looks like. So I was mostly using it to blend out soul. And I also used it a few times on its own. And I really love this. Swatching these eyeshadows together, you can see this one pulls more cooler tone. And this is more purple. It's also lighter. So it's easy for me to use in my crease, on my lid. can use it in so many different ways. So that was our next purple eyeshadow. And another purple eyeshadow we are working on that we rolled in last update comes from my Flower Beauty Jungle Lights palette. And we are working on this shade called Jaguar. 
I've also reached for this one eight times. This is very, very deep purple. It has a dark base and has some purple shimmer particles in it. We have some decent dip after eight uses. I used it all over my lid in the outer corner, blending out my lid shade with the outer corner dark shade in so many different ways. And I really like it for that purpose. That's how this one looks like. I also tried to wear it over glitter glue and that pulled out more sparkles from this shade. I really liked that. However, I don't know if I have that look photographed. But yeah, eight uses and we have nice dip going on. And the last eyeshadow we are working on is this one. It comes from my Morphe 35O Supernatural Glow Palette. And this one is called Otherworldly or Outwardly, something like that. Yeah, Otherworldly. <laughs> Ever since rolling it in, I used it four times. So yeah, I don't have a lot of uses on this one because I hadn't used this eyeshadow at all before it got rolled into this project. And this is how it's looking like today this is what it is looking like we have very slight dip simply because we didn't use it a lot but yeah this is staying in so main shades used in this look are soul and otherworldly from morphe 35o supernatural glow palette and i have it blended with that pastel purple shade and i must have used a few shades here and there from my Pandora's palettes but those are the main shades used to build this look and this look is where i tried to wear soul all over the lid to see what this eyeshadow is all in about i liked it but was very surprised how it turned out also i think there are some really tiny speckles in this eyeshadow but yeah, it looked really grayish purple on my eyelid. So I have Wild Child on my inner corners. But yeah, I mostly kept this look purple. And I also put an eyeliner just to pull this whole look together. But yeah, it's so. And I have it blended with pastel purple shade in my Pandora's eyeshadows again. And this is the look where I tried a halo eye look. And I have Venom paired with Jaguar from Flower Beauty Jungle Lights palette. And I think it turned out pretty smoky and nice. So I also have some other eyeshadows to tie the look together. But yeah, those are the main two eyeshadows that I used in this look. I think I might have put so in the crease or maybe have it blended with the pastel purple but the most prominent shades in this look are Venom and Jaguar. I think I have the corners like the Venom blended with Jaguar with some sort of uh, golden shade. It must have been Precious Cargo from my Baby Yoda palette. And this is the look that I envisioned when this whole color story got rolled in last month. I really, really wanted to pair Venom straight up with the purples. And this turned out exactly the way I imagined. This is really vibrant, bright, really, really love it. So I have Venom all over my lid. I think I might have fluorescence in the inner corner. But yeah, it's mostly Venom that is more prominent. And then I have Soul in my outer corners. Blended with that pastel purple. I might have put some tiny bit of Jaguar in far outer corner of my eye as well. But yeah, I really love this look. And in this look, I tried to keep it simple. I just have black from my Pandos palettes all over my lid. I have it blended into my crease with some other shades. So I used a purple liner pencil and drew the eyeliner and then I set it with that pastel purple eyeshadow that I have in this project from my glam palette. I think this look was really different and kind of springy in a certain way. This is the look that I did with my BH Cosmetics Lost in Los Angeles palette. The only reason I included it in here is because I used Otherworldly on my lids. It is very springy look as well. My nail paint is sticking to everything. I really should have let it try. Anyway, we are going to be rolling in one new shade. 
and my panning percentage is around 38 percent i'll put all the numbers on screen and i'm really excited to see what eyeshadow gets pulled in so i have a total of 116 eligible eyeshadows to choose one shade from simply because i'm not counting all of the eyeshadows that are in this palette because all the mattes are very very similar to my pan those palettes eyeshadows so i just don't want to double dip and also saving myself to keep re-rolling if i get anything similar to my pan those palettes so yeah all right so 87 okay let me see which one that is so number 87 is from my bh cosmetics lost and lost angeles palette i just rolled that one out from my project level up and that eyeshadow also sort of similar with my pan those palettes eyeshadows not exactly similar it's a pastel and the eyeshadows i have in my pan those palettes are not but i would use it in the same way and i also just worked on that palette so i just want to give another palette a chance so let's re-roll number 60 okay number 60 comes from my my glam palette again and it's the second eyeshadow in here i feel like it's very very similar to otherworldly let's try swatching it actually no this leans more pink and it's leaning more golden hmm yeah i think i'm gonna keep it in because since i have this palette out already it'll be nice to just have two eyeshadows from the same palette and i don't have a lot of uses on this eyeshadow either way so yeah that would be my new color story i'm just swatching it on the side <laughs> so yeah this is the color story that we were working on and this is what we will be working on next month. So it's not as vibrant as we had it for March, but it's still purple and we have two shimmers to work with. And I think both of them are going to pair well with my other eyeshadows and other projects. So I'm quite satisfied. And that's all I have for today's video. Thank you so so much for sticking with me until the end i hope you have a wonderful day or night depending on when you're watching my video wherever in the world you are i will see you in my next one until then take care bye